Okay, good afternoon. I just want to share um, just some things that Holy Spirit is doing as I'm learning, you know, to rely on Him, to be dependent on Him, and also let Him lead, guide, and direct my day, even if it's even if it's every day going out and doing activities and running um, running errands. So today I'm out um, running errands. I need to get my car washed. I need to go get some Bibles for some graduation presents. And um, just just running and, and doing some things. I need to go to the UPS store. I'm about to pick up um, dinner for Jim and I. So it's just me learning to be obedient and hearing him and seeing him in my day-to-day -day activities. Because one of the deepest desires of my heart has been for, for I think, since 2018. Since I watched The Finger of God, The Finger of God 2, Holy Ghost Reborn with um, Todd White. And I've really been following his ministry. I've gone a couple of times, you know, to Power and Love. And one of the things that, that he has been so great about, and it's been a desire of my heart, is how he just lives his everyday life, but he's sharing Jesus. It doesn't matter where it is. He's like, you're on mission wherever you are. You take Jesus wherever you are. And so over the last few years, I've been good about being on mission, you know, and going out and going to different cities, but not being every day and not being intentional and not listening to Holy Spirit. And so I'm in this season where um, wherever I go, um, he's talking more to me. He's asking me to, you know, pass out socks and letters, to pray with people, you know, to share Jesus at the door, whatever it is. And yes, these things are uncomfortable. And yes, I don't always take it to that next level. But no matter what, I'm sowing that seed. Because if I give people letters and I give people socks and I tell them that Jesus loves them and I bless them in Jesus' name, then if I don't get to pray with them, if I don't take it all the way through the full gospel, the full gospel is in the letter. And so Jesus is faithful and merciful and graceful in where I am in this new season of learning. And so instead of going door to door right now, I am in different businesses and going different places and blessing people wherever I am. So it's totally different. Sometimes it's really uncomfortable. But when Holy Spirit says, do this, go there, do that, he's so faithful to show up and to touch people. So today I went to the car wash and he always has me. And this is something that I learned through Todd's ministry too. I, I used to wait tables. And so I've been at what I consider to be a generous tipper and giver. But he had talked about, you know, when you're representing Jesus, our father is generous and he gives so much more above. So this whole like 10% stuff, it's so old co covenant, you know, it's so old Testament, but in the new Testament it talks about being generous. Like we are to be generous because our father is generous to us. And so we give out of the abundance that our father gives and not just like capped out at, at whatever we think. It's like, if Holy Spirit says give a hundred dollars, then I give a hundred dollars. If Holy Spirit says give 20, I give 20 because he's always going to give me more. I'm, I'm not going to run out. And I, and I see that. And this is not like not out of the ministry pocket when I give cash. It's out of out of my personal pocket. So it's out of that abundance, you know, that that I'm giving. And so um so today I go and I had I had money and so Holy Spirit is like give give the, the kid twenty bucks. And so it's a high school kid. And so they're you know that is just so much money for them whenever they're drying your tires or cleaning your tires or whatever it is. So then I asked him, I said, um, how many people are working today? And he said, six. So I get in my trunk and I get out, you know, six um, Bomba socks and six salvation letters. And I, and I give those to him. And he was so excited. And I know that it's not because of the socks. I know that it's not because of the money. I know it's because Holy Spirit has anointed it. And I've also learned that through Scott McNamara and um, Jesus at the Door with his card and what he uses in this. Um, I'll show it to you. And this Jesus at the Door card here whenever you're sharing the gospel. It's not about the graphic. It's not about what we have. It's the fact that Holy Spirit anoints it. If Holy Spirit touches it and then reaches through those things, that is what my friend calls a point of contact, then it's about it's about the power of Holy Spirit. It's not about the thing. It's not about the item. It's not about the money. But you do what he tells you to do because he knows what it takes to reach the individual person that, that you're talking to. And so, um, so I give him the socks, I give him the money and I go, I didn't want to, but I went to go vacuum out my car and Holy Spirit's like, just, just do it. Like, just go vacuum out your car today. Cause I was going to be lazy and do it tomorrow. So I go over and I start vacuuming out my car and a few minutes goes by and I'm just minding my business, crawling in my car. And one of the other workers comes over and he's like, I just want to tell you, thank you. I just want to say thank you for, for the gift. And he has the socks and the letter in his hand. And I'm like, oh, you're, you know, welcome. It's a gift from Jesus. You know, be blessed, be encouraged. You know, Jesus loves you. And so I just speak, you know, just speak that over him. And he goes and he walks away and the Holy Spirit goes, go get him, go get him. He's hungry. And so I go chasing after him. I go walking across the parking lot, I leave my door open. I leave this, you know, vacuum thing. You know, I just kind of drop everything. Cause Holy Spirit's like, go get him. And so I stop him and I'm like, hey, you know, what's your name? You know, can I talk to you? And so I asked him, I said, can I pray for you today? 
And he goes, yeah. And I said, I said, what do you, what do you, what do you need prayer for? What do you want? And a lot of times people won't want prayer for themselves. They want it for somebody else or something else. And he goes, me, I want prayer for me. And I'm like, oh, oh, I got this. I'm like, Holy Spirit is going to touch you. He's going to touch you. So I prayed, but Holy Spirit wanted me to pray. You know, I prayed for him to be touched by Holy Spirit. You know, I just prayed, you know, redemption and salvation and just healing over him. I bound up demons over him. I loosed his angel over him. I just prayed for the fire of Holy Spirit to come and touch him and to touch his heart. And just, just, Jesus just has this beautiful prayer that he has me pray for people. And he always touches people. Always, always, always. And so, you know, after that, you know, um, you know, I just told him again, you know, be blessed in Jesus name. You know, you're loved. Um, you're made in the image of Jesus. And so I walk away and Holy Spirit told me, you know, that like that was biblical. Like he, he didn't have to come find me. And, and I guess the other, the other kid told him like, Hey, that must be the lady. Cause how would he know it was me? Like, how would he know my car, you know, and that I was the lady that gave the socks. So what Jesus was saying was just like in the Bible, you know, some people got blessed and that's all they wanted, you know, and Holy Spirit's still going to touch them when, when they read the letter and, you know, when they have the socks, still going to touch them and still going to encounter them. But he wanted more. He wanted more of an encounter with Jesus. And so it was beautiful, but I didn't get it, you know, and, and people think that I just know everything. I don't know everything and I'm learning and Holy Spirit was like, go get him. So I had to run and go get him. And so it was just this beautiful thing for me and for this young man and for all of them, you know, because they all got blessed today, but that he was hungry. He wanted more and it wasn't about the socks and it's not about the letter and it's not about the money. Holy Spirit touched him and talked to him and was like, go thank her. And so in that he got blessed and he got touched more by Holy Spirit. He had a true encounter with Jesus today. And so it was absolutely beautiful. And then I went to the GNC and, um, I had one, so I had one bag left that had a cookie in it with the Jesus at the door cookie that I had from a, another outreach from the Vietnamese restaurants and from, um, from the tanning place and from five guys. And so everywhere I've been, been going, Jesus is like, here, bless them, you know, do this. And so I'm learning. I don't have it all figured out, but I'm learning to hear him. I'm learning to be obedient. And yes, sometimes it's uncomfortable, but every single time he speaks and every single time, guys, when, when you want to do something that's about Jesus, that's not your flesh. That's not your natural man. It's Holy Spirit. And if you will just trust that he's going to show up and he's going to touch people where they are and love them, and then you're going to get to see him move and it's going to grow and increase your faith. So, um, my husband encouraged me to just share that because of the hunger that this, this man had, this young man had this hunger for more of Jesus. And so he came out to the car and he got blessed and he got touched. And then I got a prompting from Holy Spirit. And so it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful to be out, to be in Jesus name and to just watch Jesus move. So being blessed, be encouraged today in Jesus name and just step out, just step out. Even if it's you starting to say, you know, I just want to say, Jesus loves you. You know, can I pray for you today? You know, you're made in the image of Jesus, whatever it is, start wherever you are with Jesus. And if you do that, he's going to meet you where you are and then you're going to grow and other people are going to get touched and get encountered by Jesus. And it's just, it's just a win. There's no losers in the kingdom. Anytime we step out in Jesus name and we bless people, we get blessed, they get blessed. And our father just has an abundance. He will fill you up. He will give you more than you can ever pass out and give out. So just being blessed and be encouraged in Jesus name today.